So nobody good will die. Or nobody good will, uh, nobody bad will die. He doesn't want to, if you know about them and you know they're evil, then they're doing way much, The way too, it's like canceling, uh, oh boy, it's getting a little sparse. Uh, that's like canceling Sweeps Week. That's like canceling your top show right before Sweeps Week. Especially since things are going to get real weird real fast. Hey Connor, how you doing? Uh, things are going to get insanely weird very, very quickly. Why wouldn't you want as many evil people around as possible to just get nutty with it? Uh, I will probably be doing acid sometime in the next week. Because uh, I've got it and I'm bored, but uh, not yet. I'm going to have to wait for the weather to be nice, so that's for sure. Yeah, they didn't invite me on their stream. They can fuck off. Why do I care what they're doing? The real heads are in here with me. See, this is a really interesting. This is sort of like how the, the story is about how... Uh, uh, the story is about how, like, it, uh, you know, at the Politburo or whatever, they would start clapping Stalin and it would just keep going because nobody wanted to be the first one to be seen stopping. So they would just keep clapping forever. These people are all... They don't want to be the last one to stop. Because if you're the last one to stop, then what do you, what, do you not respect our first responders and our healthcare workers? Wow. Wow. Oh, God, people are singing now. Someone saw some video from Italy, and now they're getting inspired. Who is clapping their cheeks? Oh boy, she's singing uh, New York, New York by uh, Sinatra. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's definitely getting weird. It's only going to get weirder. we're going to slowly like taper down over the weeks but instead it's gotten more intense it's uh, like they're doubling down what they're really clapping for is that there's still supply lines what they're really clapping for is that they can still turn the lights on and there's uh and, and they still flip a switch and the light turns on and that the internet's still there and that they flush the toilet and the shit goes away that's what they're really clapping they're clapping that they don't have to go out there and try to find their own food because none of them would be able to and I include myself in that number they're clapping that they're still the TV still works you know what I mean and the thing is that's worth clapping about because the alternative is not something you want to think about too much if you're this vulnerable if you're this far from any self-sustaining lifestyle Oh boy. Oh boy, people are belly they're hooting and hollering now in addition to clapping. See this is the thing, it's the bit up. I was saying about how they have to keep clapping so they really care and like show their uh, their penance for their their idleness. Now clapping's not enough. You gotta you gotta work it out. You gotta walk. You gotta just you gotta just edge it. You gotta bellow. Now, if they're going to be doing wolf howls and, uh, and like, cucaracha dances, that's going to go off. There's going to be fireworks eventually. If this thing goes long enough, they're going to be, like, shooting AKs in the air like it's Saddam's wedding. That'd be so funny. Everybody's got, like, a fucking... Some, <laughs> they've got, it like, a, 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 like a, 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 a Sicario gilded AK that they got on, like, Etsy. And they mail it home and then they just... Sometimes I wonder what would have happened if the Taiping Rebellion had been successful. 
That's a real, uh, I think an under, uh, I think an under pondered counterfactual in history uh, is if the Taiping Rebellion had been successful in China, because it really came very, very close. Uh, the Qing were on a real uh, knife's edge there for a while, and it was the Western intervention that really pushed them over. They could have very well fallen the other way. And a lot of the Western powers were initially sympathetic uh, to the Taiping because they professed to be Christians. It's just that you know, the guy was such a weirdo that eventually they were like, oh, okay, you're on some other shit. Never mind. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You deserve to have another seamless delivery. You earned it. You've earned not having to be in you know, a room full of people with masks trying to save lives or deliver food or do anything useful. I'm, I'm okay that I'm doing that because I'm doing this. No, no. We're all fucking absolute uh, parasites. Well, it's pretty clear the parasitic nature of this uh, whole economic arrangement. Like the people with the least social standing, the least uh, control over their jobs, and the lowest pay are the people who actually need to be working. Like, how has that not... How has that revelation not just destroy the foundations of everything we think about politics or fucking economics or justice? If you're trying to, like... I mean, obviously, this doesn't apply when you're blowing off steam among friends, but if you're trying to engage constructively in a dialogue, on that level, the level of Trump will only reify this phantom spectacle where uh, secretly disordered and questioning liberals and conservatives express their unresolved conflict. So that's a thing. Don't talk about that then. I've decided the clapping is okay now. I'm not mad about the clapping anymore. I understand that it is like basically celebrating uh, that the lights are still on. I certainly understand that it's an attempt to offload anxiety about being useless during this. Like, this is a physical act you can do to stand in symbolically for uh, what you're not doing, which is, you know, working in a grocery store or uh, being a nurse or something. But you accept it on that level, maybe it becomes a basis for something else. If, you're, if you don't come at it angry, if you don't come at it judgmentally, doesn't necessarily, but either way, it's going to be fine, and you can deal with the results. Whether I clap or not, it's how I respond to the condition of there being clapping. So that is the answer, I hope, to the question of bibliophiles versus cinephiles. Also, uh... I kind of got off on a track talking about the uh, essential workers being sent out because they're going to start clapping soon. Uh, sent out to their deaths. Uh, if you are one of those people, I, I mean solidarity, obviously, uh, to this pathetic degree that I can offer any. Uh, and there's a good example. Like I think about all the people out there working jobs, and I think that's disgusting. Here I am talking to my phone, and they're out there risking their lives for minimum wage. What can I do about it? Well, I could go, I could, there's a bunch of things I could do that I know I'm not going to do because they're too scary or just uncomfortable or, or, or more importantly, I don't think they would do any good. Like, you could go out there and set yourself on fire uh, 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 on Grand Army Plaza if you thought it would do any good or, you know, you would totally release your ego and you were a Buddhist monk or something. But as, as long as you still have ego attachment to this planet, you're not going to do something self-destructive or even unpleasant unless you think it's going to do good. And the thing is, all the things I can think of to do to help this horrible situation right now, right now, would not actually help anyone. And so I can't motivate myself to do them out of anything other than guilt. So that's what this is. This is the small thing people can do. The problem is a lot of them use it to replace that feeling, that suppress that feeling completely. Like they do this and then they suppress that feeling uh, or they turn it into, you know, watching Mad Ow or putting up a refugees welcome here sign in front of their apartment or whatever. Uh, this has to be the beginning of a practice. And like I said, I am still at the stage where I don't know what mine is. 
partially because I'm living in this frictionless cube world where I'm literally not supposed to leave my house. Like, I'm not supposed to. Like, I think it's technically illegal for me to be out of my home and around other people too much. I don't even know at this point. Um, but I do say thank you to you guys, and I want to make a, I, I want to make it a world where you don't have to do that, and where we don't have to sit here like fucking uh, chickens. Oh shit, my friends here. Uh, but I'm gonna have to work towards it, and I have to have faith that my actions day to day will help me know and recognize the moment when it comes. A little bit of clapping. I'm not looking at the flyover, no thank you. I don't even know where it would be. I'm not near where the thing is flying. I'm way up in the, I'm in the middle of Brooklyn, so I don't think I would even see it. Hearing the people like applauding, it's like, as long as people know that it's not enough, you know? As long as people use this moment to remember what their duties are to each other, I think it's good, you know? And it's like, it could be either for everyone, and I think people end up fighting because they assume they can only be way, one way, but it's, you know, it's, to, it's always a degree of both. So it, it's worth tending to the good part rather than yelling at the bad part. Maybe, I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Righteous gemstone files, nice. What chapter am I in on Moby Dick? Uh, I just finished... Uh, I just finished The Gam. Uh, which is a delightful little chapter. I might read one quick chapter to end tonight. I don't know. i got to see if I can find one. Here we go. Uh, my next chapter will be the town hose story. Someone, someone had the town ho uh, give their tail. That one was very weak. I think it's because it's kind of it's really overcast today and kind of gloomy. I don't think a lot of people are outside. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Sometimes they'll they'll go and they'll gutter out a little bit. And then I think they get a little embarrassed that they stopped, and then they'll all kind of dare each other to go back up. I will read Ulysses. I'm just not, I'm going to re reread, I'm getting, I'm trying to go through the 20th century. I'm trying to like go through levels of like semantic uh, uh, facility. You know, I feel, I feel very comfortable with Moby Dick. I'm going to go to Gravity's Rainbow, which I've always felt harder, a harder time getting my head around. And then I'm going to do uh, Ulysses. So you, if you, if, if they ever develop time travel, it can just be really for entertainment purposes only. You can't change anything. You don't even need time cop because it's impossible. It'll, it might fuck up other dimensions, but the one you're in, nothing will have changed. The clapping should be beginning shortly. Actually, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, exactly. You're not traveling through time. You're going to a different dimension that happens on a different time scale but is otherwise the same. So it has the same people and this is the same historical development of humanity down to the individual level. Oh, I hear it a little bit. It's quiet. This is the quietest it's been that I've noticed. I think people are sick of it. You know what it is? I think people are sick of it here. This not clapping anymore is sort of the lib version of wanting to go to Lake of the Ozarks or uh, Red Lobster or something. It signals that even they are running out of that sense of self-worth that comes from denying, denying themselves by staying in. All right, guys. I will notice, though, that since the protest started, the clapping has stopped. And it really does tell you something about how people wanted to feel useful. People wanted to feel like they were doing something good while they were st st stultifying. And now there's something else to do. And this need, that needs this impotent need goes away. It really does show the degree to which we fixate and gravitate towards empty gestures to alleviate a sense of powerlessness. But the only thing that alleviates powerlessness 
is seizing or attempting moving towards taking power or at least challenging existing power. Formalized, ritualized actions uh, will never do it. And that's why nobody's clapping right now because they've been out there. At least a lot of them. I know I've seen them come and go into Parkleys because I live very close to the basically the epicenter. So I've been out there a couple nights and there are there's people are like flowing like a river. So no more clapping in your house. Now we're clapping in the streets and that's much better. Because the cops don't give a shit if you clap in your house. But they will fucking kick your face in if the, you clap too much in the streets. Alright folks, stay frosty. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.